Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bick, the First Lady of the Organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise Him in His sanctuary. Praise Him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Diane Bish. Welcome to the Joy of Music. One of the purposes of the Joy of Music is to share with you music and musicians who are glorifying God with their lives and their music. Sometimes we have classical musicians, other times people who are in the sacred field of music. But today on the program, we have one of the outstanding popular singers of Ireland and England, and her name is Donna. She is a person that has a beautiful countenance, a beautiful voice, and just recently she found a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and she wants to share it with the world. I know you're going to want to hear her sing and hear about her faith in Jesus Christ. I would like to open the program by playing a number by an English composer but a piece that sounds almost like an Irish dance. This is the Rondo in G by John Bull, a piece with much joy and happiness.
My special guest today on The Joy of Music is Donna, one of the most famous popular singers in Ireland and England and all over Europe. And she's now on a concert tour of the United States singing Christian concerts with her accompanist, the very famous Kurt Kaiser, arranger, composer, and keyboard artist. They're going to sing and play for you now a melody that's been around for a long time. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Well, Jesus is the light, and I'm gonna let him shine. Jesus is the light. And I'm gonna let him shine. Jesus is the light. And I'm gonna let him shine. Let him shine. Let him shine. Let him shine. Now hold that light up high. Cause we're gonna let him shine. Hold that light up high. Cause we're gonna let him shine. Hold that light up high. And we're gonna let him shine. Let him shine. Let him shine. Let him shine shining all over the world we're gonna let him shine shine him all over the world we're gonna let him shine shine it all over the world we're gonna let him shine let him shine let him shine let him shine well this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine let it shine this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine 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 Donna and Kurt, I really want to welcome you to the Joy of Music. Thank, Thank you. you. This is really exciting for me because we met about three years ago at the National Religious Broadcasters Convention in Washington. Now, I hate to tell you this, but it was 1980, so that makes it four years ago we met. <laughs> oh, time passes so fast, but I, I've been trying to get you here for all those years, and you finally came. Well, I'm so pleased to be here because thanks to you, the tape that we brought with us was given to Kurt, and so I ended up with a recording contract. And now you're on a concert tour, your first Christian concert tour of the United States. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes, that's right. So and you're we're... doing concerts with Kurt um, all over the country? Yes. Sixteen days together, all over the country, mostly up and down the East Coast, however. Now, what kind of music are you doing? Are you doing uh, popular music and Christian? No, it's all uh, Christian music, um, except for one little uh, section where Kurt felt it was uh, a nice thing to give people a little bit of background on on myself and where I came, where I come from, and so we have a little section of Irish songs and songs that are relevant to me. Now, with your accent, you would never know you were Irish, Donna. Never. <laughs> that's, the, that's the reason I wanted to talk. I love the sound. I just think <laughs> I know it. It people are enamored by that. He sound. hates me singing, but he likes the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, let's talk about your um, singing and how you got into, into this career. Uh -huh. Well, when I was uh, a child, I was always involved in music and dancing. And I studied piano and ballet from when I was six years old. And then, when I was 18 and at school studying to be a music teacher, I entered auditions for a song festival, the Eurovision Song Festival. And as an amateur, I was picked to take part. And I went on to represent Ireland in this contest. And the song I sang came first. Well, this is a very, very big 
a television competition. Mm -hmm. And the year I did it, it was watched by f over 400 million viewers. Oh my goodness, so all my over God. Europe. All over Europe, and I was, I was really unknown. So the song went to number one all over Europe and in England. And I just went right in the deep end. I had a, a commercial career just from nothing. Just, and, then, and you were only 18 years old. That's right. And a very young 18. I wasn't... Uh, you weren't prepared for that not, kind of not success. At all. Not at all. Well, I, I had been brought up in a Christian home and I always believed in the Lord. But it wasn't until 1977, in fact through my husband, that I really experienced what I'd heard people talk about and I didn't understand, mm -hmm. this personal relationship with the Lord. And that happened in 1977, and we married a year later. So uh, I feel that all the time I'm growing and maturing in my relationship with the Lord. It's, a, it's an ongoing relationship, and it just gets better. Well, that's wonderful. And you feel like that you can still sing pop music and do, um, I guess you just did a show in uh, London? Uh-huh. Initially, whenever, um, whenever I sort of really met the Lord, for the f really met Him in, in person, I had a crisis as to whether or not I should be in the commercial world. In fact, I had just had major throat surgery in 1976. And for nearly two years, I couldn't sing at all. And I talked with a lot of people about it, you know, and uh, I tried to have discerning advice from people that I knew were very alive in the spirit. And practically without exception, they said to me, well, are you saying that everything the Lord did in your life before this time was wrong? And you must allow the Lord the freedom to use what he wants to use to reach people. And in England, we don't have uh, Christian radio stations or television stations. Mm -hmm. We have national radio and television, and they are a lot, certain amounts of time to Christian work. Mm -hmm. So because I'm well known in the commercial fields, there were doors open to me for Christian broadcasting that wouldn't be open to, to other artists. That's right. So really, my commercial work is like a springboard uh, and it's very, without it, I wouldn't have the exposure time that I do have for Christian work. Well, I'm sure that you have really witnessed to millions of people through those channels. And that's well, something that most so. people really can't do. You never get the opportunity. No, that's wonderful. Now, exciting things are still happening in your life. Just, I understand as you go back to England, you're going to be singing at Westminster Abbey. Why don't yes. you tell us about that? Well, in fact, I'm going to ask you to pray about it, too, because uh, my flight lands in London at 20 to 9 in the morning, and I'm supposed to be singing the, the closing blessing in Westminster Abbey at 12 o'clock. So oh, oh I would really like a lot of prayers that those flights connect up and go on time. It's the opening ceremony for the Christian Heritage Year. And it's an ecumenical service in Westminster Abbey and we'll have members of the royal family there and the prime minister and leaders of the opposition. And uh, many, many church leaders will be there. It's a very wonderful event. Well, it must be. It'll be a grand occasion. I'm just sorry that you're not there to play Shouldn't yes. she be there well, playing in Westminster great. Abbey? They have a wonderful <laughs> organ at Westminster Abbey. Now, you're traveling with Kurt, and I know that you're doing some of his own pieces. Isn't that right? Yes, mm -hmm. thankfully. <laughs> I enjoy it when she sings my stuff. <laughs> I've, I've heard you sing a piece together that's called Coming and Going. When did you write that, Kurt? About uh, two years ago. And uh, we were doing... We were just doing a, a series of songs, scripture, chorus kinds of things, and uh, this just developed out of that. Let's listen now to Comings and Goings as sung by Donna and Kurt. He brought me up 
out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and establish my goings. He brought me up out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and establish my goings. He brought me up out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, set my feet upon a rock, and establish my comings and goings and comings and goings. He brought me up out of an horrible pit, up out of the miry out clay, of the miry and clay. set my feet upon a rock. And and establish my goings. He brought me up out of an horrible me up out of the miry clay. And set my feet upon a rock. And establish my goings. He brought me up out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay. And set my feet upon a rock. Set my feet upon a rock. And establish my comings and goings and comings and goings. And established my comings and goings and comings and goings. And established my comings and goings. Comings and goings. Thank you for singing that piece, Don and Kurt. I didn't know you sang. Whoa. Kurt. <laughs> I've never done it before. I know you compose and arrange and play, but I've just never heard you sing. Wow. I think it's terrific. He's good, isn't he? I know. Oh, he has wow. lots of personality. It's embarrassing <laughs> for you to say that. <laughs> Now you sing a very lovely song called Mary's Song that talks mm -hmm. about um, Jesus' love or a mother's love. Yes, it's really, you know, the amazing thing about this song, Diane, is that it was written by a young man in California, a man called, was it David Mullins? David Mullins. And yet this song talks about M Mary's feelings as she stands at the foot of the cross and looks up at her son. And I heard it just after Grace was born, and we recorded it not long after she was born. And I was a new mother. Mm -hmm. And it touched me so deeply. Well, I'm sure the viewers would love to hear you sing that. So why don't we do Mary's song? She 
walked away so silently with a love that never dies. Yes, her hand was cold, but her heart was warm with a love for a special one. Her face was bright, but her life was Because my special guest today, Donna, is from Ireland, I would like to play a very famous piece from this country. I'm going to be using the beautiful string stops of the organ. This is the Londonderry Air.
Thank you for joining us today on the program. As my special guests have been Donna, one of the outstanding singers in Ireland and England, and a beautiful person who has committed her life to Jesus Christ. And I want to thank Kurt Kaiser for being with us also and sharing his great musical talent. Thank you for joining us on the Joy of Music, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. <laughs>